This is Mikhail Bridges in a Suns jersey, late in a tight game, standing in the corner away from the action, waiting for the kickout. And this is Bridges as a Brooklyn net. One on one against Jimmy Butler, he does the shake and bake on him and hits the end one. He scored 45 in this game, which is his career high. And since joining the Nets, Mikhail had 11 games with more than 30 points, compared to just two in four and a half years with the Suns. What happened to Mikhail Bridges and how did he transform into a real star player for the Nets? Let's break it down. During his time in Phoenix, Mikhail Bridges was known for his defense, often guarding the best opposing player, putting in the hard work and giving a 100% effort every night. In the clutch, he stays with Luka through the screens and puts a hand in his face which results in a bad miss. Here he's posted up against PG, gets bumped by the big man but somehow was able to block the shot from behind. On offense, he would get his points by outrunning his defender in transition like in this situation, where he's in line with Josh Hart but manages to run around him before getting the pass and finishes with the dunk. He's always on time making the right cut to the rim in the half-court offense as well. Booker gets double teamed so he passes to Aiton down low and before he even catches it, Mikhail is already sprinting towards the basket, the pass and the lefty dunk. He's a great finisher inside, making 68% of his shots in the restricted area. But he's mostly known for his ability to get open 3-point shots out of the attention focused on CP3 and Devin Booker. Most of these are catch and shoot threes, however we saw flashes of him being able to create his own shot when needed, mainly in the absence of the All-Stars or due to the shot clock expiring. Bridges averaged 17 points per game, 4 rebounds, 3.5 assists and 56 gains for the Suns, before being traded to the Nets as a part of the package for KD. He was also considered as one of the more efficient guys in the league, shooting a decent 46% from the field, 38% from long range and 89% on free throws. But ever since joining the Nets, he blossomed and got better in almost every statistical category. In his very first appearance against Philly, we saw what Mikhail is capable of with the ball in his hands. Here he gets the ball on the left wing, Claxton comes up with a screen and a handoff. Bridges gets it back and makes the running jumper over Joel Embiid. Later, they run the same play and again, Mikhail gets to his comfortable mid-range spot and hits the shot over Joel. In his career night against Miami, his offensive arsenal was on full display as we see him sizing up Strews for the pull-up J. In the third, he gets the ball in the corner, freezes the defender with the shot fake, goes inside, pauses as another defender flies by before laying it in. Next, we got the off-ball screen by Claxton for Bridges to curl around him either for the jump shot or for the penetration to the rim. He gets the ball with Butler on his back, turns on the Jets and lays in the finger roll. And finally against Robinson, dances, blows by him, stops on a dime and swishes it. Against the Magic a month later, although in a losing effort, Mikhail dropped 44 points on 66.5% shooting from downtown. And just 5 days later in Brooklyn, he burned the Hawks with yet another 40 plus point masterpiece. Look at his confidence, he stares down his opponent, dribbles past him, stops, turns and drains the fadeaway. After Durant and Irving's departures, the main role in Brooklyn was open for grabs and Mikhail emerged as the leader. His usage rate skyrocketed to 29% compared to the 19% of the time he had the ball in Phoenix. His production increased while keeping and improving his efficiency. Having the ball in his hands a lot more, he's fully embracing it and he's posting a phenomenal 27 points per game, 4.5 rebounds, 2.5 assists on 47.5% from the field and 37.5% from 3, as well as 89.5% free throw shooting splits. That's impressive. Bridges is averaging more points than KD and Kyrie ever since the trades. Are you kidding me? Ok, Durant appeared in only 8 games but come on, we gotta give this man his credit. I dedicated a whole video about his playing style on both ends of the floor about a year and a half ago in which I asked the question, does Mikhail Bridges have another gear to unlock? And boy, his blistering hot performances in the Nets uniform for sure answered my doubts. He's getting more spotlight from the media as well as he was announced the Eastern Conference Player of the Week and flew in the conversation for Most Improved Player of the Year. 
Given the keys to the franchise, Bridges kept the Nets above the play-in zone. With the 6th seed, they've set themselves a date with the 76ers. I'm not saying that they're going to make a serious run in the playoffs, in fact I'm hardly seeing them steal one or two games tops from Embiid and company. But alongside McHale, the Nets have a solid group of young and talented players in the likes of Cam Johnson, Cam Thomas, Nick Claxton, Finney Smith and Dinwiddie that they can build around. One thing is for sure, Bridges will show up night in and night out as he never missed a single game in his entire career, suiting up for 392 consecutive games. Even though the NBA season consists of 82 games, the Nets were behind on schedule when the trade happened, so Mikael Bridges officially has 83 games under his belt this season. I'm genuinely happy for Bridges and hopefully he'll continue to improve his game. Let me know in the comments if you think that he's a future all-star in this league. That's it for now, subscribe and talk to you in the next one. Peace out. And let me know in the comments if you think that I'm a future all-star in this league. Peace.